We are at the Rest Haven Nursing Home in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is the home of Mrs. Augusta Mann, who was married to one of the uh, famous Mann brothers, who were entrepreneurs in Tulsa in the uh, 1920s, 1930s, all the way through the 70s and 80s. Uh, they were grocers, they had grocery stores, and uh, they figured prominently in the uh, Tulsa community, and they also uh, played a role, some of them played a role in the Tulsa Race Ride of 1921. Uh, Mrs. Mann uh, will not be interviewed today, but she was interviewed by me in 1995, 1994, late 1994, and this is what she told me about the race ride. She said, the Mann brothers were all Tulsa businessmen and were active in the grocery business from 1919 through the 1970s. My brother-in-law, J.D., opened the first store in 1919, but it was destroyed two years later in the awful Tulsa race riot. But he opened just three weeks after the riot. My husband, M.M., and his brother, Obi, opened the second grocery store in 1924. It was the largest grocery store in Tulsa, black or white at the time. It had five butchers. And she mentioned how they cared about the community, how they cared about the children. Uh, even though her husband was a prominent Tulsa uh, grocer, she said he would stop everything when the little neighborhood children came into the store. They played ball nearby, they would come in all hot and tired and they would say, Mr. Man, we want some water. And she said no matter how busy he was, he would always stop whatever he was doing and give those children all the water they could drink and anything else they wanted. He would always say, y'all come on in and he would give them water and little treats. And uh, she mentioned the race ride. Here's what Mrs. Mann said about the race ride. The races hadn't learned to live together in peace then. Bad relations led to that ride in 1921. The night that the ride broke out, my husband and his brother were working in the store. When they heard about the ride, they quickly closed up and went home. Their mother begged them not to go back down on Greenwood. My husband listened to her, but his brother did not. He joined some other angry young black men who armed themselves and went down to fight the white mobs. Because of that action, my brother-in-law had to flee Tulsa when the riot was over. He was gone for three years, and his family didn't know whether he was living or dead. My poor mother-in-law grieved so while he was gone. When he returned, she and the entire family were just overjoyed. There were so many casualties from that riot, not only the dead and wounded, but the survivors suffered too. Our store was far enough from the ride that it wasn't damaged, but the brother who had his store on Greenwood was burned out. Sometimes the white mob didn't know where the black living area ended and where the white living began, so some black property survived because whites thought it was black property. And uh, she told me about the Mann brothers arming themselves, and that is documented in the book of Scott Ellsworth, Dr. Ellsworth, and others who write about the race ride. Some of those uh, black men on Greenwood at that time, 1921, had served in World War I. They had served in France where they had been treated with respect and dignity. They had come back with their, wearing their uniforms. They had their weapons. They had pride. And that figured in the Tulsa race ride. And that is why they armed themselves and went walked down to the area or got in cars and loaded down the car so with their guns sticking out, they went down to protect Dick Rowland from a lynching. And uh, in fact, some books say, some sources say that the, the riot was started when a uh, white man tried to take a gun away from one of the Mann brothers. And when he resisted, the shot was fired and the riot was on. So. This was an eyewitness account that Mrs. Mann gave us five years ago about her famous husband and his brothers, the Mann brothers, and their role in history and what the riot did to them and to other North Tulsans. Thank you for letting us come and talk to you today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, I got to see you again. Yes, I got to see you again. Yes,